everybody! Today, I'm going to talk to you about math and feelings and maybe even fish tanks. Oh, I really like fish tanks. Okay, everybody knows that math is just about numbers, right? Actually, nope. Math is about so much more than numbers. Math is about many things like counting plates of spaghetti. Patterns, sorting shapes, adding donuts, directions, subtracting donuts, tally marks, and so many other things. And did I say donuts? And just like there are many different things to learn in math, there are also many different ways to learn math. And no, I'm serious. For example, do you know how to count to five? Yes, of course you do. Let's count to five together. Are you ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Yay, good job. So we just counted to five out loud with our voices. But there are other ways to count to five too. For example, when counting to five, Apple likes to look at the numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Orange likes to write the numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Ladybug likes to see the words of the numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Banana likes to use five squares. One, two, three, four, five. Salamander likes to count salamanders. One, two, three. Oh, I think that is too many salamanders for three. Yeah, that's better, salamander. Four, five. My brothers and sisters like to count out loud and together with each other. One, One two, two, three. three. Four, five. five! A sloth likes to count quietly by itself inside its head. One, two, three, four, five. A scratch garden likes to count with a dog in a rocket ship and with music. One, two, three, four, five. Wow! Look at all the different ways to count to five. There are so many different ways. And guess what? All of these different ways are great ways to count to five. And they are all the right way to count to five. Have you ever thought about which is the best way for you to count to five? A fish tank! Sometimes I like to take a deep breath and watch the fishes just to think. Ah. <sighs> Hmm, which way is the best way for you to count to five? Hmm, and why don't you look around you? Are there other people near you? I wonder what way they like to count to five. Hmm, okay, that's enough. And now, I have another question. Have you ever thought about how you feel when you are counting and doing math? Maybe sometimes you love numbers and are happy when you are doing math. And maybe sometimes you are sad or frustrated if you don't understand math. But guess what? It is okay to be happy or sad or frustrated. And if you can try and understand how you feel and talk about how you feel, that is great. Uh, excuse me, sometimes I don't like doing math because I get nervous if I have to answer questions in front of everybody. Oh, thank you for telling me that. That is totally normal. Later, we can talk about ways to maybe help you when you are feeling nervous. Also, uh, can I go to the bathroom? And no, you may not. Okay, I also want to say that learning math can take a long time. It is okay if you don't understand something right away. It's just like when you were little. 
You couldn't talk with words right away. First, you just made sounds that sounded like a goo goo gaga goo. And then you slowly learned the names of things and how to pronounce the things. And you practiced many, many times. And now you can talk and say a lot of words and even hard words like perpendicular. There are probably many other things that you can do now that you probably had to try and try and try in order to do the right way. Can you think of any? Maybe let's think together. A fish tank! Sometimes I like to take a deep breath and watch the fishes and think. <gasps> ah. Hmm. What are some things that you can do now that you couldn't do before? Hmm, maybe tying your shoes? Or eating food with a fork? Hmm, what else? Okay, that's enough. And I have another question. Do you think it's okay to make mistakes? Actually, yep, mistakes can be good because it usually means that you are learning and trying to learn. Yay! I have another question. Do you think it's okay to ask questions? Actually, yep. Asking good questions can help you to learn too. Especially if you raise your hand and speak in a nice, clear voice. And, oh, yes? Uh, is this a good example of how to ask a question properly? Yes, it is. Okay. That is all the time we have today for talking about feelings and math. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more laughing and learning from Scratch Garden. And did you know we have other videos about feelings? It no, it's true. We have a feeling song and a social emotional learning song. I certainly feel that you would enjoy them. Okay, bye for now. A fish tank. Huh. I really like a fish tanks. <sighs> I can do it.